Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the Patriot Viper 2x16 gig kit for a total of 32 gigs for DDR4. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out of the package. Now we're going to go ahead and install it on the EVGA Z270 FTW K board. The standard way of installing it and the way they tell you to install it is on slot 2 and slot 4. So this slot right here and this slot right here. Now on some configurations they tell you to install it in slot 1 and in slot 4. So we're going to go ahead and install it for now on slot 2 and slot 4 okay and then I'm also going to show you how to configure it in the BIOS now if I run into issues then it's more than likely going to be in slot 1 and slot 4 but this memory isn't on EVGA's QVL list which you should always make sure that the memory is on the QVL list if not have word from the manufacturer themselves that the RAM is tested to work on this particular motherboard Okay, so one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to verify this little slot right here matches up with this little slot right over here because if not, then your memory is just going to be seesawing in there. So again, I'm just going to install it on slot 2. Now, the way EVGA did it, not all motherboard manufacturers will do it the same, is they have a little easy slot right over here that there isn't a tab to open and close like there is right over here you see I have it open open well close and open so I have them all open right now okay so to open them I just push them in or out outwards and so let's see does this match up that doesn't quite match up so I'm gonna spin it around now the easy slot is I just anchor it right over here on this side and I slide it right over here now I just push down really lightly okay so simple enough right so now we're going to go ahead and install the second dim so these are by 16s 2 by 16 gig dims so slide it on the easy slot And now just push down very lightly and that's it. You've just installed 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Okay, so this particular RAM, it runs at 2800 megahertz and of course can be overclocked. So that's about it for this. Again, if when I go to install it, I run into some issues, I'm probably going to need to push it over to slot one and slot four. Again, we have it right now in slot two and slot four so I just need to take this one out and move it over here but I don't know just yet alright guys so I just turned on my computer now F12 to enter the BIOS okay so and mind you F12 is from my motherboard the EVGA Z270 FTWK maybe different for your motherboard okay so and then also the BIOS itself may be different so first off, on this screen, we're going to go ahead and go to the memory tab. On the memory tab, you'll see right here, XMP number one DDR4, 2800 megahertz, 16, 18, 18, 36 at 1.20 volts. Okay, so what that means is this memory has an XMP memory profile or XMP profile. XMP is Extreme Memory Profile, a technology developed by Intel to make your life a lot easier. So what that does is once you set a memory profile or an XMP profile, it goes ahead and sets all the settings for you so you, that you don't have to worry about it. So first off, you're going to notice under Memory Profile, it says Automatic. It hasn't been set yet. Memory Frequency, Auto. Dim Voltage, the base is 1.350. And then it shows nothing over here. It's a blank space. And as we go down here, 
you'll see all the same. Over here is blank, and then over here shows some of the memory settings. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and click XMP Profile 1. Okay, so now we see it set our memory frequency to 2,800 megahertz. It set our target memory frequency, again, to 2,800 megahertz. It left our dim voltage at 1.350, so I'll go ahead and drop it to 1.20. Now, there is a small chance that it may not work at 1.20, um, but you know what? We'll just go ahead and find out for sure. Okay, so it set my TCL at 16, my TRCD TRP at 18, my TRAS at 36, TFAL at 31, TRC at 491, and the rest of the settings are defaulted. Now, if there were additional XMP profiles, maybe overclock profiles, it'll show the speed over here and over here as I showed you. Now, at times, back to the CPU, it may change the multiplier and it may also change the B clock. So, I just wanted to mention that real quick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F10 to save and exit, and I'm gonna go ahead and press yes. So, let's see if she boots up at that profile. All right, so there we go. She booted at the not only the XMP profile, but also at the 1.20 volts that we set. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger walking you through how to install RAM and then afterwards how to set it up within the BIOS. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.